It's Hall from Glasgow. I'm here at the Donald Dewar Leisure Centre at Drum Chapel United ground. It's a pre-season friendly. Drum Chapel United from the West of Scotland League versus Broom Hall from the Lowland League. Oh, there's a game on just now. It's, uh, I believe they played Hutchinson Bale for the 2012. Oh, there's a goal. Right, that game's just finished. I'm going to do a quick tour around the ground, as you do whenever I visit a new ground. It's like one of these sort of cages. Um, but yeah, have a wee look. They've got this wee bit caged off. I don't know why, fenced off. Um, anyway, have a wee look. Yeah, they've got fencing on this side and fencing on the other side. But you can't, I suppose you can't really stand behind the goals. Um, I presume you stand out here. And there's the dugouts. And they've got their flags up there. And there's the other dugouts. Oh, I think it's worth mentioning uh, Donald Dewar Leisure Centre. Donald Dewar was the first First Minister of Scotland. He was also the MP then, it would have been the MSP, uh, for many years representing this area. And he's got a leisure centre named after him, the Donald Dewar Leisure Centre. And of course, Broomhill uh, are playing now at the, the Rock Dumbarton FC Stadium, uh, and they've got a new manager, Xander Diamond, former Aberdeen player. So hopefully I can get a word with him. Sander, you're quite new into this role, aren't you? Um, have you managed to bring in a lot of changes to the team? Yeah, it's been a it's been a baptism of fire, as you, as you like. Um, I took the job seven, eight weeks ago, and it was a, a total rebuild. You know, I've had to go out um, and recruit. But I said we, before we came in, my, myself and my staff, we actually had a, a list where we've hit eighty percent of our targets. You know, so we're utilising my contacts. We know certain players we've brought in, we've worked with them before. So it's a work in progress, but excited that, you know, this is the last pre-season game today and we start the, the, the business stuff um, next week against Broxburn. So we're going to see a, quite a different Broomhill team from last season? Absolutely, yeah. It's been a, probably there's two players that is, is, um, stayed, stayed with us from the, the previous regime. You know, that, that's just the, the way it is, you know, and, and going out and recruiting your own players and your own sort of, um, your makeup of players that will fit the bill for, for us as a staff and um, personality is, is mostly important for us. So, yeah, hopefully we've got a good group together, but it's a work in progress, as we said. It's like, we've all been eight, nine training sessions and a couple of, a couple of games. So, so, yeah, as I said, it's exciting, but it's, um, it's a good journey to be on. Uh, other teams you've brought in Gordon Wilder as assistant as well, experience? Myself and Gordon worked at Queen's Park together. Um, I played with Greg in, uh, down, in, down, in, uh, down in Northampton when he was at Plymouth and then he came on loan to Northampton. So there's been eight years together, um, a bit of experience, he knows, he knows the game inside out. So again, if it's something that I can lean on for experience, it's, it's excellent in my behalf and also Martin Mooney, who I know also, who's a fantastic coach. And, the three of us together were, were non-stop on the phones to each other and again we want the best for the football club um, and, and move the club forward. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. And Drum Chapel won promotion uh, last season to the Premier Division of the West of Scotland League. We're on the flight path for Glasgow Airport. Well, as the team is just lining up for a uh, kick-off, uh, Broomhall in their away strip. I'm told that's last season's away strip, they'll have new ones this season and because Durham Chapel in their normal red Apologies and black. Man, the two managers having a word there. And there's kickoff, it's Broom Hall to kick off. Oh, there's a chance, the first chance of the game goes to the drum. Come on, 
Turn the shot there, about too high. Well, that's the first corner of the game, goes to the drum. Oh, it's too much. Oh, 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 oh. Ciao again! I think it went in too easy though, to be fair. Oh, there's a chance you know for Broomhall, a wee chip out there and it's on! Just wide. How can that how that not a penalty? Oh. Oh, the short hole. Wide again. Oh. oh. That was a chance, it was taken off on there. That's not a corner. Oh. First corner. Oh. 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 Go there 1 0 to Tom Chapley Raid. Right? Oh, 
Oh, just feel the defender got that there. That was good enough for forward. Kick in a dangerous place here. Oh, it's far too high. Yeah, there's half time there, and it's 1 0 to Tom Chapel United. Let's see if we can get some half time reactions. Enjoying the first half, then? Oh, it's been a uh, good, good intensity and uh, good pace, a lot of effort. It's it's not like your typical friendlies, but it's, <laughs> no, most of them are going for it, so. Well, that's right. I mean, I think, as uh, you know, Drum Chap United uh, got promotion into the, the aye, Premier aye, Division aye, aye, and Bree Muller in the Lowland League, so there's only one tier, so I think they'll both be trying to prove something, you know. Aye, 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 I think so, but there's definitely, uh, there's nothing in it uh, quality wise, so. Uh, aye, the, the leagues are pretty close, you know. Yeah. And that was a good goal, what do you think of that? Near aye, post corner, eh? Up, Beauty. Up. Aye. Yeah. My, my player of the year last year. Was he? Aye, aye. <laughs> right. Uh, aye, he's a fine player, aye. That was aye. good, well, it was a good goal. Good goal, aye, good goal. The, the team's been playing really well, actually. Yeah. And that young boy, Jamie, is pretty impressed with him. Uh, except the dribbling on the 18 yard line, uh, that's a no no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And oh, do you think it was a penalty as well, by the way? Oh, that was, was a, a. Should have been a penalty. Aye, I think so. I'll, I'll play it back. Sandwich between the two of them, didn't it? Yeah. But it's Every... a friendly, so you're, you're no too, you're no too bored. No. Look, look forward to next Saturday, Hullford. Aye, so that'll and, be uh, your first game, Hullford. Aye, then. Aye. Uh, the one on Tuesday. Look more forward to that. No. Okay. Aye. Aye. Champions from last year. So oh, well, you're right. He's <laughs> a good, a good gauge of where we are. Yeah. Wise, but I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, hopefully, Mario will be back Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Just the plane was going over there. Aye. Right. Oh, thanks, Brian. That was interesting. No bother. A wee boy here plays for them, Jabby United as well, you know. Yeah. So we come up to watch the game today. It's been a good game so far, you know. It's been very, very, very challenging, though. Uh, Drum Chat was a really good goal they scored, you know. Oh, good it was. Header. You know, so it's my first game, you know, but it won't be the last one, you know, so it's been really good, you know, I've enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, well, they won promotion to the, the Premier uh, Division, they'll be playing teams like Beef and, you know, a lot, a lot yeah. of good teams, eh, so. Yeah, I, I really look forward to the new season, you know, and I don't think the level's much different between the, the bottom of the Scottish professional leagues yeah. to, to the, the Premier Division yeah. and the, the Lowland Leagues and stuff, you know, so it's been yeah. really good. It's only one tier, a difference really, fifth, uh, the Lowland League's fifth tier and the uh, West of Scotland Premier and East of Scotland Premier are uh, the sixth tier, you know? Yeah. And uh, Brooksburn got promoted in, in the Lowland League uh, last season, so... Yeah. Well, it's, it's exciting times ahead, you know? Hey. My wee boy's he's, he's buzzing to see Nacho Novo as well. <laughs> and, uh, that's right, and he plays um, <laughs> in the, the wee guy there. I can't exactly. just, how you doing? Good. Enjoying the game? Good. And, who, and what age group do you play for at Drun Chapel United? I play for 2016s. 2016s? Thanks. Yeah, I'm getting old. <laughs> I know. I'm old. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Cheers, Gary. Thank right, you. Thanks, and that's the same half in the way. Oh, corner. In the corner there. That's been old. There you go. Oh, 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 it's just a plane, I think. Oh, 
Oh, there's another. Buzz no way. Where you go, my thaw? Ah. Oh, oh. That's another corner there, Boom Hill. Oh, there we go. So a double save there. Subs going on there, 1922, and number nine. Oh, go to scramble there, but got that. Pressure there. I uh, bring all of set aside the uh, second half better. That's a penalty this time. Equalizer, one all. Oh, good save. Side. <laughs> I just realised. 
Coming on for uh, Broomhall. Nacho Novo, who's now coaching here this season with Tom Telfy United. Ten yards, five, ten yards. Here. Oh, there you go. He's offside. Ah, he's offside. Oh, 
Oh, we fight through a bit. Oh, no, good chief. Oh, there's a... Oh, good chief. Been with the friends are there. I was net bound. Oh, 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 there's a shot there. It's over. Oh. Ah, well, that's full time. And it's uh, one all. I don't. Was that a useful workout then for the season ahead? Aye, it was. It's minutes in the tank, uh, trying a few different things and stuff like that. So aye, we'll, uh, we'll take the 90 minutes and move on. Uh, I thought in the first half uh, you were better. Probably probably even the better team. You could yep. even got a penalty. Yep. Uh, you, got, uh, you scored a really good goal. Yep. I know, but you're right. We probably should have been a bit more comfortable in the first half. Um, and then unfortunately, we've had, I don't know, it doesn't look like a penalty for our arm, but in the build up to it, our boys be clipped off the ball, and it's frustrating because we want to keep clean sheets. Um, but I suppose from open play, we've kept a clean sheet, so that will just need. Yeah, because yeah, you want promotion in the, the, the Premier Division, yes. so you think that will be, be good performances in aye, for. Aye, we've got another game on Tuesday against Queen's Park, a closed door game. Right. Uh, so we'll obviously need to get the final preparations done uh, at Walk In on Tuesday night, and then we'll just need to go on Saturday and see where we end up. Okay, thanks very much. Alexander, I, I think uh, you had a better second half, you'd be pleased with the second half rather than the first. Yeah, listen, we, we kind of get one, it's a work in progress, as I said at the beginning of, of the, um, the day. You could see it was a boys getting taking instructions on, things like that, but I think much better. I think second half, a, a vast improvement, you know. I didn't think there was much in the first half, you no. know, we, we didn't cut us open, it was a, a set piece which we're, which we're not too happy about. But second half, I thought, even with corners, with phases of play, I think with application, with work rate, with intensity, all increased. And I think if we do that in games this season, yeah, it'll be, it'll, we'll be okay, but um, it's getting it in a consistent level. And you brought in quite a few subs as well, and that, that of course, give the opportunity for these players to get uh, a trial as well. Absolutely. Listen, this club is about giving players opportunities. You know, somebody once gave me an opportunity and it's up to me. If they come in and apply themselves very well, then they know they'll get a deal. Um, it said it's like in football, if he who works the better and the better quality will, will earn the deal. So that's where we're trying to stress to them. But um, overall, you know, it's delighted. Injury free, hopefully. And then it's on to Brock's one now. OK, thanks very much. Well, there you go, folks. Managed to do interviews there without any Aeroplanes coming over, and I'll hopefully get my outtake here. It's just a wee gap in the planes flying over. And I managed to get that in before another plane came down. <laughs> it's a total in interviewing. Well, there you go, certainly a game of two halves. Thanks to both uh, the managers for taking time out to speak to me, and I wish uh, both teams good luck uh, this season. Trump Chap United newly promoted into the Western Scotland League Premier Division. Tim Hall, I've got their new manager, Sandra Diamond. I mean, no bad new facilities here at the drum chapel, it's a typical sort of cage. But they do have a sort of bank in there, and I always think they could uh, move the, the fences here and get get a bit of height, uh, you know, get a bit of bank in there. But uh, that has to be designed. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. And if you like what I do, please like. Comments are welcome, and I'd appreciate it if you want to support me, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Anyway, until next time. I'll see you behind the goals.